Are you wondering if Boudica is worth maxing now that she's landed in Rise of Kingdoms? Wonder no more, we're testing her now. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Rise of Kingdoms gameplay episode from your very own Shappy Gaming. Today we are going to be testing the new Boudica Prime Commander that has landed in Rise of Kingdoms. We are doing naked duels, one-on-one. -on -one. I do recognize one-on-one -on -one duels is not you know, realistic in KVK, but we want to tell you what pairings are going to work best for Boudica in the field. So today uh, we're going to start with uh, Saladin Nevsky. And we're going to be going through a whole bunch of different pairings for Boudica. Uh, Killer will post his tree at the end. I will as well. Check the video description because I'm probably going to drop a marker like here's where the talents are. And if you haven't already, do be sure to hit that subscribe button right over there, bottom right hand corner. And hit the bell so you get notified when new episodes come out. With that, Killer, say hello and then uh, let me know what you're running. Hello everyone. Uh, let's start out with uh, Boudica Ram. Okay, let's do it. This is the one that I have heard the most about, so bring it on. Oh, this will be interesting. I do have Saladin Nevsky. He is 5551, um, so this is a totally attainable march uh, to test with if you guys choose to. Uh, and, and really, we're just trying to see how is Boudicca going to do best. Uh, this particular march that Killer is running, Boudicca Ram, is really not going to be terribly swarm-proof because Ramsey's just isn't. Uh, this actually should be a really good duel march uh, if, if you can catch someone in a one-on-one -on -one duel. So this is this um, is interesting. Yeah, it's, of the options, I think this will be the best just because of that double heal from Boudicca and Ramsey. right everyone's been praying for a tanky archer march well here it is it's tanky but it's not swarm proof i think that's that's where nebu is going to help out i think Boudica nebu will probably be tankier just because he does have that counterattack damage buff but i don't know well that's yeah you're gonna have to you know you're gonna to have to combine Boudica with other marches. Let's. I'm gonna lead with my Nebu Henry, so everybody swarms that one, and then. So I got wrecked there, but really it was pretty close. I think. I think the heal made the difference for you, but that's the first march that has beaten Saladin Nevsky. Here, here's your, uh, here's your breakdown. As I said, five, 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 one Saladin. I could max him, and maybe it would make a difference. Might be a little bit closer, but. I don't know. I think that's that's a fair loss there. Let's give you another one, Killer. What are we doing now? Do you want to try Attila Nevsky against the same march? Sure, let's try that. Let me get that out for you. Attila Nevsky. Okay, 200,000. Bam. It is out and ready to rock and roll. Okay. This one looks a little bit closer. I don't know. The first one the first one was looking good too. But yeah, Boudicca Ramses is pretty strong. I think if you see if you do see Boudicca Ramses in the field, you want to swarm it, though. Like, that's going to be my go-to swarm. Um, you'll have to forgive me for not knowing any Cav commanders, but what is, uh, what is Attila's tree versus Nevsky's tree? Has Nevsky got the skill? Uh, Attila is cavalry conquering an attack, whereas Nevsky is, uh, I believe, cavalry uh, versatility and skill. So they're a little bit different. Attila doesn't really pride itself on skill damage. Yeah, maybe try this again with Nevsky up front. Okay, let me get him to 60 real quick. In the meantime, 
why don't you hit my Saladin Nevsky uh, with Ramsey's Boudica? Let's see if we could flip it on its head. And I'll, I'll get Nevsky leveled up in the meantime. Should be able to, right? Let's see, will Ark let me? Nope, can't level up Nevsky to make him primary, so. So there's Attila compared to Saladin. Huh. I think Saladin did worse, ironically. Yeah, because Saladin took more damage. I lost more power from that duel. So now we're doing Ramses uh, with Boudicca. And of course, as I said, I'll show all the talents at the end like I did in the Henry testing video. Really wanna be sure that you guys can verify this for yourselves. And again, I do recognize we're not swarming some of these marches and there's no KVK tech, but I do think that using the same march over and over does give you a accurate and, and very realistic display of how these different commanders fare. And if you haven't already, you should join the Discord community that is also linked in the description below. Uh, we'll post a bunch of different skill trees or, or talent trees and pairings. And uh, I can also take some screenshots of these reports and post them in there. So might be worth checking out. Yeah, I don't know, Killer. I think Boudicca Ramses did better than Ramses Boudicca. And I do know that equipment would make a difference. Ironically, I think the equipment would help me more than it would help you, just because there's so much cavalry equipment, but cavalry health equipment, I mean, but I don't know, this, this is fairly close and I think it is relevant. You know, in, in KVK, it's so variable. Okay. We lost that one. Oh yeah, that one hurt a ton, but you took less damage, which I think that tells me that I think Boudicca is going to be the better primary for that pair because you want to be lasting in the field longer. Okay, what do you want to do next? We did have a request for an Amani art uh, compared to um, Artemisia with Boudica. So let's, why don't you give me your Amani art and let's see if I can beat her. This is, this is pretty cool. It's neat being able to see which of these commanders is really going to do better um, in the field. I'm excited. Are archers getting a, a new wave here? I don't know. Let's see, does Killer have any on his commander tree? He does, he has Boudicca up there, so I'll throw Saladin up there. Oh yeah, Amani Art is gonna get wrecked, I think. Yeah, that's, that's huge. I may actually win this one, Killer. I will also point out Killer is VIP 18 and I'm only VIP 16, so he does have the all damage buff. So I would not give too much heed into the, like, is Saladin going to win or not? I would focus more on the reports and how many troops he has remaining after each battle. In this particular instance, I think Saladin Nevsky is going to win. Um, which I'm actually not terribly surprised about. Yeah, this, this is neat. Killer, does this one surprise you? Did you think Amani Art was going to win? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look here. <laughs> Report, uh, as you can see, Saladin and Nevsky did win, and I had 31,000 troops remaining. 
So pretty good. Pretty good. Not bad. Okay. I'm going to recall and then killer you can send uh, Artemisia Boudica out and let's see how she holds up. Let me know. Does that one surprise you guys in the comment section below? I'm kind of surprised. I mean, in theory, I shouldn't be, but I think Saladin is Saladin's only five 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 one, and so that one surprises me just a little bit. Okay. So Artemisia does have the self-suppress, um, and the advantage of running Artemisia with Boudica is Boudica's expertise in theory, I don't know if she actually does, Boudica's expertise in theory is supposed to have an 80% chance of clearing that silence. So that should be good when paired with Artemisia. So, I don't know, if we look at control effects, yeah, it includes silence, disarm, and heal immune. But, killer, you'll have to let me know and I can scroll through the report and we can see if Boudicca's skill is actually working in getting rid of that silence. Because if it's not, that's, that's a little bit of a cause for concern. I don't know, is Saladin Nevsky going to win this one? It looks almost as close as the last one. I don't know. For anyone wondering, this was the last report again. And we can see... Manatory Artemisia. It is a garrison pair. I mean, it's it's good in the field, but it's definitely predominantly a garrison pair. And here's the buffs. If you wanted to see them, as you can see, and these are naked duels. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now let's see. The advantage with Nevsky is his skill damage is so enormous. I don't know if he has any any advantages that happen when he gets below a certain strength, though. No, he does have the 20% health. I don't know if we're getting that, though. I don't know. Ooh. Is Artemisia Boudica going to win? It just might. You know, it just might take the, the W there. Wow. Okay. So for whoever asked that question, I think this is a very good answer for you. Um, it looks like if you already have Artemisia, you're probably, pro it's probably worth maxing. Um, but let's take a look. What's that report look like? It was close. And you only had 19,000 left. So Artemisia Boudicca is not going to be as good for you as um, Boudicca Ramses. Boudicca Ramses is by far the best thus far. Yeah, by far. Okay, can you throw um, Boudicca Artemisia? Let's compare the two. Just want to see if there's any actually actual difference in that report. Yeah, that was that was interesting. I also think you have to remember. In the field, this is a little bit different because the odds that you're swarming or getting swarmed are high. And so there will most likely be a lot of Nevskis out in the field uh, attacking these marches. So I would be a little hesitant to, to trust those too much in the field. I think Artemisia is great because she does have that AoE, but I, I would not say she's swarm proof. And so just keep that in mind, um, you know, as you field these marches. Thus far, I haven't seen too much, too many swarm proof marches for Boudicca. We'll have to test Nebu and see how that holds up. Um, cause that should be a little bit better. But yeah, Artemisia. Yeah, she's not terribly swarm proof. She does have that health though, though, which is nice in the defense, but nothing for counterattack. Now I will say if you are running Boudicca, um, a couple things you may want to consider is that because she's not terribly swarm proof, you may want to throw a vengeance on her, uh, which is you know gives you eight percent counterattack damage. Uh, you may also want to throw the horn. I'm thinking that those two are probably the things I would put on my Boudica. Uh, Killer, what do you think? Does that sound right to you? Um, I think I'm gonna save my vengeance for 
Nebu Henry. Yeah, that's true. But, I guess if you're running if you're running that as well, that's probably the better move. And I can and, tell you guys all right. I could definitely see me using my horn on on uh, Boudica for sure. Yeah, you want that skill to proc a ton. Uh, yeah. So it, whoever asked uh, Artemisia Boudica versus Boudica Artemisia, um, looking at this report, it looks like Boudica Artemisia is going to give you longer lasting power in the field, which is what we're really all about here. Um, so I, I would make your Boudica your primary there. It is really close, so you probably could go either way. Um, but that's just, just the observation there. What do you want to do next? You want to do uh, Nebu? I can do whatever you like, my friend. Let's do Boudica Nebu, and then Nebu Boudica. And then we'll do the one that I've also gotten requests for on my Henry video, which was YSG. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I hope YSG's good. You do have the museum relic on YSG, right, Killer? I do, yeah. Yeah. So when we do the YSG testing, please keep that in mind. If you are, um, if you don't have that museum relic, you're not getting the, all of the buffs. I think it's uh, rage regen and skill, but I'd have to check. Here we have Boudicca Nebu, which looks to be off to a pretty good start. And again, this March is going to be a little bit more swarm proof. Um, keep in mind if you're rallying or if you're garrisoning, it, it might be a little bit different. Um, because you may want to rally with your Henry Nebu, uh, especially if, if you don't control the field. But if you do control the field, I don't know. This this looks like a pretty good march. Yeah. I don't know. Who's going to win here? I think I'm going to lose. Is your Boudicca healing at all? I was gonna check this, this battle log. Yeah. Yeah, she will. Yeah, right there. Burning blood. Roll attack, Phoenix arrows. Okay. Yeah, she's got an 800 healing factor. Skill four. There you go. I'm trying to see if Artemisia's silence is getting triggered. Yep. Boudicca was immune to the silence effect. So there you go. Anyone asking, Boudicca is suppressing the silence effect. So if you look at that battle log right there, you can see that. That, that is happening. Wow. Boudicca Nebu, huh? What do you think about that one, Killer? Uh, that's a strong march. It should win. So that's 62... 37. It actually didn't last as long as Ramsey's, but I don't know. Okay, let's try Nebu, Nebu Boudica, which currently, if you're in the field, one of the best AoE marches you can be running is uh, Nebu YSG. So, I don't know. We'll have to test that, those two. See which is going to be better. But you did win. I don't know. I think that's going to be a little bit more swarm proof oh no it's only when Nebu's leading a rally attack that he gets that counter attack damage buff so maybe not there really are not a lot of counter attack damage archers are there no Oh, I can already tell you guys that, that Boudicca Nebu is going to be better than Nebu Boudicca. Just looking at this. But I'm glad that we were able to clear up that confusion around the... Um, around that skill. Because cause you thought that the, the Boudicca suppressed was broken, didn't you? Um, that expertise well, skill? Just typical, typical Lilith. The, the wording of their skills is... Um, you know, suspect. <laughs> Her fourth <laughs> skill says that she, um, you know, attack is 
increased. Let me read it here. Yeah, when attacking troops, troops receive healing. Well, as it turns out, attacking troops only means when attacking a march in the open field. Right. Doesn't apply to rallies, though. Which is so silly because they do have the wording elsewhere where it's like, while on the field or while attacking troops on the field. Like, I don't know why they wouldn't specify that. Because <laughs> they want people spending their heads on it. That's right. They wanted someone to max her and figure this out the hard way. Unbelievable. <laughs> You're going to lose this duel. Yeah, also her expertise skill, it, it mentions increases damage dealt by archers by 10%. Well, is it all damage or normal read, attack? You would think, yeah, you would think it would be all damage, but as it turns out, it's only normal damage. Oh. So there you go. For anyone wondering, Nebu Boudica is not going to be the one you want to run. You want to run Boudica Nebu if you're going to run that too. Uh, but Ramses really does look like the better pair there. Um, can you throw a Nebu YSG so we can compare uh, should you be abandoning your Nebu YSG in favor of uh, Boudica Nebu? Sure thing. And miraculously, I have not yet run out of cavalry. <laughs> Slowly but surely. You should uh, send your cow cow over to that uh, uh, shrine of life. Which one? On the other side? Yeah. Or you can take that one if you want, the one that I took. Yeah. Send, send my lance a lot over there. Three minutes. Should be fine. Now, Nebu YSG really is the one you want to have in the field if you're going to have AoE damage, but yeah, we'll have to compare. Yeah, it's it's not that it's not that great one on one actually. No, but the question that we're going to answer here is: is it is it better one on one than Budica Nebu? And I'm inclined to say no. <laughs> no, for sure not. So Boudica's nuke is pretty, pretty good. Twenty three hundred. So all those YSG users are going to be very disappointed. <laughs> no, no, it's still it's still the best march to send out with your other marches because you're going to do tons of damage to surrounding people. Right, because you have that circular AOE and you have the the Nebu one. Yeah, one on one, this march does not hold up. Wow, talk about marches that you want to target with your cavalry. So yeah, I think if you if you have Nebu, you may be, be happier to put Boudicca with Nebu than Nebu with YSG. If you don't have Ramses. If you have Ramses, then I don't know. You may want to put Boudicca with Ramses and Nebu YSG. But just something to keep in mind, y'all, as, as you watch through these trades is, is we're figuring out the different pairs and how they work together and how they compare to each other. So at the end of the day, everyone has their own five marches that they're gonna run. Um, I just want to make sure that you guys have all the tools possible to make an educated decision. Okay, give me that YSG, killer. Uh, Boudicca YSG. Yes, sir. And we're not going to do YSG Boudicca because that tree, YSG is primary, has historically been proven to not be powerful. Uh, if you guys really want that, let me know in the comment section, but I don't think it's necessary. I think that that Really, you want Boudicca as the primary. And let me see the reason, the reasoning behind that. Let's see. There's a reason you want Boudicca primary. I think it's one of her skills. Let's scroll on through here. Yeah, because she increases the target's skill damage taken by 15%. And so... That happens for three seconds, and so you want her as primary because you want that skill to trigger, and then immediately your YSG skill to trigger after. Wow, this march is monstrous. Take it back. You guys may not want to leave your YSG on the shelf. <laughs> and this will be fairly good in a swarm. Because you do get that circular AOE. I mean, obviously, it sounds like you want to target Boudicca first. But 
I don't know, Boudicca YSG. I'm I'm pleasantly surprised by this. Yeah, fifty nine thousand. So to compare Boudicca YSG to um, the other pair, which is Boudicca Ramses, which everyone is super excited about, justifiably so. Um, no, that's Attila. You can see that she has sixty two thousand there, but if you're getting swarmed, that that march is not going to hold up as well as the Ramses or as the YSG is. And so that's that's really good to know. I don't know, Killer. You may want to rethink your strategy there. Uh, yeah, YSG is going to make any skill damage commander better just because of you know that extra fifty percent skill damage and the rage restored, right? So right. I just prefer to have my YSG with my Neb because that AOE is just too good to say no to. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, let's do Cyrus and then Tamiris. So a lot of people have slept on Cyrus historically. Um, and he is a glass cannon, so I'm curious to see how Cyrus does compared to the YSG duel. And you can do Boudicca Cyrus because we want her to be primary. Okay, the moment of truth. Rocky start. Okay, let's see that. Let's see that Nebu skill damage. Or not Nebu, Nevsky. Yeah, this is not the march you want to run. So what I've observed from this is typically you're going to want Boudicca be, to be that primary because of her first skill. I think every duel where we flipped it around thus far, you know, it's it's not held up. I may lose this one, interestingly enough. Although I still think YSG is going to be better. Yeah. Sorry, Cyrus. You're not making the cut. Yeah, he's going on my bench. Yep. Wow, that's such a shame. I feel like Cyrus was so n not versatile. Like, he really has never gotten very much exposure. I'm wondering, is, is Cyrus 39,000? left. How does that compare to Artemisia? So it did better than Artemisia. So I'm not I'm not thinking you should be putting Boudicca with Artemisia in the field. I mean, you'll get a little bit more AoE coverage, but you get that coverage with Cyrus as well. So yeah, sorry guys. I don't think Artemisia is the one to run. Okay. You want to see Tamaris now? Yeah, we could do Tamiris, and I forgot, we, we have Henry. Oh yeah, we'll wait for that one. <laughs> we'll keep you guys around to the end for that one. Oh yeah, there's your poison stack. This could be a really good one to have in the field killer, because if you're swarming and you've got that poison stack... Yeah, that's... A dilemma I'm in right now to try and figure out a way to use her. Cause she's by far I would I mean I have her in my top five swarm swarm marches. Oh I don't know. You have no tankiness there with the Boudicca Tamiris. Uh because healing should kick in here. You're below 80%. Like, so there it is. Yeah, there's your heal. But you also have to remember I'm running Saladin, who has the... Yeah, yeah, true enough. The heal counter. And everyone's going to be running Alex, who also has a heal counter. The 
this one's going to be tight. Yes, it is. I don't know, though, because this is a different kind of march. This is a support march. This is not your nuking march. I think those stacks are going to get you in the end here. Maybe. We'll see. I'm banking on Nevsky finishing finishing you off with that skill damage. Yeah, I... You, you may still win here, but I don't think that's... If you get touched, if anyone swarms this march, you're done. You're going to melt. <laughs> well, yeah. That's pretty much the same with any march. I mean, yes and no. But call Harold. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> but you lost that duel. You won, but you uh, lost. Did, yeah. Because of my healing, yeah. That's right. Wow. Okay. So yeah, Boudica Tamiris, not the way to go. Let's see how your Henry holds up. Oh, we're going there now, eh? Boudica Henry. What else do you got? You got another pair you want to try? What do we have? Uh, I think Henry's all that's left. Unless you want to try Boudica, Edward. Um, Boudica <laughs> Manator. Oh yeah, we could do that too. Let's do that first, and we'll finish with Henry. All right. Oh no! <laughs> Kept walking, but that's okay. We should be fine. Boudica Amani. So not a lot of people do have a monetary maxed, but. If this proves to be good, then a Monitore could have another use. Right now, you're really only going to run her in the field with Artemisia, but I don't think Artemisia is all that versatile, at least not from what we've seen here today. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not convinced that a Monitore is going to be the one for you. She's got that AOE, which is nice. But I, th I honestly think if you're looking for AOE coverage, YSG is going to be the one to use. I also think for, for the mass majority of people that are probably watching this video, hopefully you're enjoying. If you haven't already, do hit that subscribe button. Um, but for the mass majority that are going to be watching this video, I feel like they probably have YSG already maxed. And so if you already have YSG maxed, Boudicca is a pretty low-hanging fruit there. The question then is, what do you do with your uh, Nebu if you already have him maxed? And so when, you know, that depends on if you have Ramses or not. But it is nice to see that Ramses is kind of getting a, a second life here. And I do think we can, ex <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I think we can I'm expect really a happy. museum buff for him soon too. Oh, that would be nice. And is he in dailies yet? Ramses? Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. So he will be coming to daily shortly, but YSG is. And I did lose there. Not, not by much, though. Nowhere near the, the YSG and the Ramses duel. Nowhere near. Okay. And... I think all we have left is Henry. We're not doing Edward. If you guys want Edward, let me know in the comment section below. But I don't, I don't think we need to do it. Um, <laughs> I, I don't think Edward is going to be viable in the field. I would admonish you to not run him. Um, you know, that, that rage is just not going not gonna to fly. So this is Henry, Boudicca Henry. We're starting off pretty even. And Killer, are you using that talent tree I sent over for Boudicca? Uh, same one I sent you yesterday. Okay. Yeah. So again, if you guys do join the Discord, I'll have a bunch of different talent trees uh, for the commanders that we've used here, as well as the reports. I'll screenshot them and throw them in there. Uh, really just want to make sure that I have the resource hub for you. 
This is not terribly surprising. I mean, Hen Henry is not made for the field, but I mean, he's he's doing pretty well, but I mean, he's not a field commander. I don't know. I'm going to I'm definitely going to lose this duel. Wow. This one's interesting. I don't know, killer. You may have ended up with another archer dual use pair. Okay. So, Boudica Henry, you ended with 59,000. I'm, I'm dead, which is no surprise there. There's the power loss. But if we look at the Boudica YSG... You ended up with 59,000 as well, but you you had more power, you had less power loss. I think you could probably put Boudica Henry in the field. Yeah, it's uh, definitely an option. I know a couple guys that are running that march that are pretty happy. Um, you took a little for... bit more damage there, but yeah, I don't know. Just for giggles here, we have time. I'm going to send out Ed Henry. Ed Henry? Historically, this, historically, this should be a good march, but... Okay. You guys get a bonus round where we're testing Henry. <laughs> I will say, here's the caveat. In a duel, Edward might be okay. Because Edward, is, when he's not swarmed, that rage regen doesn't hurt as badly. So there's, there's my caveat. We'll see. But if, if you ever see an Edward in the field, if you guys are watching this, if you ever see an Edward in the field, swarm it. Just, just don't ask any other questions. Swarm Edward. <laughs> you will trade positively, I promise you. I may lose this one killer, but I don't know if I'm going to give it any credence just because I know Edward in a dual situation is, <laughs> is so different from Edward in the field. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, anybody watching, don't, don't ever bring Ed to the field. <laughs> and if you're watching and you're early on in your kingdom, don't spin the wheel for Edward. Spin the wheel for Ramses or literally anyone else. You don't need him. Even in KVK2, he's questionable. Yeah. Well, we got 10 minutes. You want to, anything else you want to try? You want to try some Henry combos or? I think we're all good. I think we're going to call the video there. Uh, Killer, why don't you let everyone know, what are the five marches you're thinking of running? I, I think I think you've got some some pretty valid opinions here. You're you're an archer primary. What are what are you taking away from this from this duel? What are you thinking you're going to run? Um Yeah, I have I have three marches I'm pretty set on. I think a, a Manator with Artemisia. That's Kind of a must for me and then i'm gonna run nebu with ysg because i love that double aoe and i'm really happy that ramses has been brought back to life and <laughs> i will be running him behind Boudica. okay well there you go guys killer thank you for joining uh again we will be going through the reports and the talents in just a second be right back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back and we're now going to run through all of the different reports for you as well as showing you the different talents that we had. So here's report number one, which was Edward and Henry. Uh, for anyone who is curious, this was just for fun. I would not run this pair in the field. Next report, we have Boudica and a Manatore. So a lot of people uh, might be considering, should you be running a Manatore with Boudica? And I would not necessarily say you should 
Uh, I think we have the Amanatore uh, Artemisia duel earlier, and I can show you guys exactly how that played out. But really, I think that with Boudicca, you're probably going to want to run YSG or Ramses. I think those two are, are going to be the best. This one was not bad, though. Um, here we have Boudicca Tamiris. Really did not hold up very well. He won the duel, but he really lost. Um, and if I'm swarming with Nevsky, that march is just going to absolutely melt. Next, we have Boudicca with Cyrus. Uh, so this one was an insightful one. I think Cyrus did all right. If you already have him maxed uh, and you need to balance out your marches, this one should be okay. Uh, it is a glass cannon, probably not going to be terribly swarm proof. Cyrus does have a little bit of AoE damage, which should help, um, but by far not the best. Uh, here we have Nebu YSG. This was for comparison, so we can show you our then uh, Nebu Boudicca march. Uh, which also lost. Both of these marches lost. Your Nebu is going to be used probably elsewhere. Um, even your Boudicca Nebu did all right. I think it did better than Cyrus, um, but really nowhere near as good as your uh, YSG march that we saw earlier. Here we have Boudicca Artemisia uh, by popular request. This march actually did all right, and Boudicca does in fact get rid of the Artemisia Silence, which is awesome. You love to see it. Um, so this march is all right if you already have Artemisia maxed. Uh, if you do have Artemisia and Amanatore, I think you're probably better off pairing them together. Uh, but let's see, did we have that? Yeah, here we have Amanatore Artemisia, which actually lost to our duel. Um, so maybe not, maybe you do want to split them up. So that's something to keep in mind. Here's Boudicca Artemisia. I will point out Boudicca Artemisia uh, did do slightly better than Artemisia Boudicca. So just bear that in mind as you go through this. And then we have uh, Mandatory Artemisia, we did that. Ramses Boudicca. So Ramses Boudicca and Boudicca Ramses both did really well. Boudicca Ramses by far was our victor of the day. Um, it was Boudicca Ramses followed by Boudicca YSG. I think the difference between these two marches is that Ramses is predominantly going to be for single targets that you're attacking. So if you're the one swarming, whereas YSG is going to hold up much better if you only have three or four marches uh, and you're not swarming so much as getting swarmed. So there you go. That is all of those different commanders. And now we're going to jump into our talents. So I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, Shappy, why is your salad and getting wrecked? I really don't know. Um, but here's the talent tree that I'm running with Saladin. So if you saw this and you're like, hey, you know, I want to copy that, feel free to use that. Um, you know, you're more than welcome to. And again, this will be within the Discord if you choose to join. The next tree we're going to be looking at is Artemisia. So here's the Artemisia tree that Killer sent over. This is what he was running for those duels. So if you're wanting to run Artemisia Boudicca, uh, here you go. And the next tree is Nebu. So we have our Nebu tree right here. This was the same one that we covered within the Henry Duels, uh, just your general all around Nebu field tree. Uh, you may wanna change yours up depending upon your use case. But again, I don't think you should be putting Nebu with Boudicca. I'm kind of underwhelmed by that duel, especially compared to the Boudicca YSG. And what I'm sure you're all here for is our Boudicca tree. Uh, and we have that right here for you. Again, this is a field tree. I will have other trees posted within the Discord for you to test out. Uh, but this is just a general, all-around field boudicca tree. As always, I hope that you've enjoyed. This has been a blast to make. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button right over there, bottom right-hand corner, and hit the bell so you get notified when new episodes come out. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed. Shappy out.